Arizona Fino, Arizona Field Research Desert Bigfoot. Down here along the Mexican border again. We've got a cave across the creek over here. It's fairly large. A person could crawl in there easily. I'm gonna head over that way and take a look. You gonna check it out, Burn? Yeah, it could be that cat den too. You see a lot of cat tracks up here, some real big ones too. Oh yeah. That's big as hell. Oh damn. That's a big cave dude. It's a mine. Holy crap, you can stand up down in there, Bernie. So shine your flashlight back in there. It goes all the way back, makes a loop. Let me see if my uh, night vision will pick it up in there. Oh yeah, it does. Put your light back down there. To the right, just stay here to the right. Wow. It doesn't look like it's used too much, no trash or anything. No. But the entrance is pretty bare of stuff. I only doubt if animals are using it. You wanna have a look? Yeah. You gonna take all your gear off? All right, Arizona Field Research Desert Bigfoot down here in the Mexican border. We're checking out a mine shaft real quick. Obviously big enough for a person to get into. There's a lot of old cans down here. All the way down. A lot of old cans. All the way back. Wow. Put your light all the way back in the back. Nothing. I'm not smelling any animals or anything either. No. Don't look like any fresh cans or anything though. No. What do you say, about a seven foot ceiling in here? Yeah, roughly seven feet, eight feet. Squash could get in here easily. Not to say they would, but oh damn! How much farther do you want to go back? Let's take a couple steps up around that bench, see All right. I'm not seeing any like cave-in type stuff. So I think they're okay. There's a lot of cans back in here, man. The illegals must be hitting it back in here. Come up on your shoulder so I can take a picture here. Oh damn spiders hanging down and stuff. There's some over here on this side. Looks like dead ends right there, huh? Maybe, Maybe on the left. left. Looks like they're trying to roof in here one time with all these boards. Looks like a pretty sturdy cave though. Mosquitoes, that's what that is. Yeah. You wanna check that end back there out? Yeah. Looks like it stops, huh? Dead ends. See anything like any hairs up sticking up above you at all? I could probably see better if I took my sunglasses off in here, huh? Yeah. That's alright. I don't see any hair. Looks like whatever it was, they're sitting in the back here just chucking all the cans down that way. Probably illegals. Yeah. Look at all the spoons and stuff right there. Wonder what all those wood chips are. Probably animal droppings. Yeah. 
pack rat living in here. There's cans just everywhere. This is sad, man. I mean, yeah, it's a mine, but be kind of cool. A squatch could definitely come back here and hide if it needed to. Definitely. Especially if they know it's here. All right, let's turn it all the way back out. Don't fall over. Cut yourself and be a tetanus shot. What's that? Yeah. I should have marked this in the GPS. Ugh. Find something back there? Uh -oh. Taking some pics? Definitely a good hiding spot. We almost didn't even see it when we came up this way. Just for info for anybody that hasn't heard yet. The reason we're in this area is because there's been at least three or four reports of Bigfoot sightings in the area over the past 10 years. In fact, one of the uh, members in our group had a uh, sighting down they're not sighting, but heard some pretty good vocalizations that went on for about a half hour or so in the ridge behind me about, what, 10 years ago? 10 years ago. And this is perfect habitat, right up, you know, like I said, we're at about 600 or 6,000 feet. Uh, we got water sources, snow. Um, you have manzanita, juniper, all bear berries. There's apples in here every once in a while. A lot of deer, coos deer. So definitely a prime habitat, even though it is down by the border.